lead ref, Terrington Wionizek and Mitchell Hunt are on the lines. We're underway here from the well, and the puck back down into the Utah end. Here's Ty Lewis from the slot, snaps it wide, the rebound, they score. Right on the doorstep, it's Jack Jenkins, his fifth of the season, as Toit was down on his chest protector. And the backhand to the shelf gives Utah the lead. Just over five minutes deep into the period, just a slingshot bounce off the end wall. So we talked about that yesterday. Sometimes these shots come off the, the back boards. And it's brought back out by Dickinson. A little swerve over the line, sets up Brassardi, scores! And the former Swamp Rabbit haunts the Swamp Rabbits as J.C. Brassard hits the top shelf. That is nearly an unstoppable shot by the defenseman, his third of the season, his 31st point of his career, and Utah has doubled the lead. Toy was scooting from his left to his right. Again, I think he was on top of the crease, the right one, but as the bubble hockey game says, he shot that where mother hides the cookies. Have odd man numbers, it's slung across ice and poked to the middle by Baptiste up, high in the air, still loose in the Ooh. slot, came on goal, and well, that made the save after the Utah defender in front, Yao, was knocked off the puck. Back across through the seam, set up. Manfredo bombs away, save made, rebound is there. Backhander may have gone off the post in tight. Greenville keeps the possession here from Manfredo to Bykov, tees it up, blocker save. Rebound, heck and whack time, no luck there as it squirts through Bykov, who had an open net to shoot at. Perkovich up the middle, he was stripped of the puck. Here's Klotz in, drops it off. Shot by Sage and he scores. Brandon Sajan's eighth. 3-0 Grizzlies, 2-16 to play in the first. Sajan kind of picked that up on an assist that he had it on his forehand. He was kind of going to his left, to Toit's right, and went far post. Toit was tracking it, but it went over his glove. That comes Utah in transition. The left side and worked in below the goal line for McGauley. It was trapped in below the goal line by Heath. Grizzlies get it again to the right circle, a shot, they score again. From the top of the right ring, it's Griffin Molino, his 17th, and it's now 4-0 Utah in the final minute of the first period. If you're Coach Kerr, I think two things you're going to say. I think you, you may start warming up Helvig, ask him to get in there. Not that uh, Toyd is having that bad of a game, but he is just getting hung out to dry by his defense. There haven't been anything contested. The lanes are open and the bank is open. Shot the point, tip, they score, and the Swamp Rabbits get one back. The deflection in the slot by Michael Pellick has given Greenville some life here with under 30 seconds to play. Pellick gets it done for Greenville, his 11th of the season, and there's one. Well, they say the best way to eat an elephant is what? One bite at a time. So that's a great, great deflection. We've been talking about that. That's, that seems to be the tendency for the Rabbits to score. They're not going to be able to pick the corners like what Utah is doing. They're going to have to get deflections in front of the goalie. Here in the Montscore Wellness Arena, this is a big second period for the Swamp Rabbits. Greenville operating right to left here in the second. Left to right go the Grizzlies with Matt Caldwell, Jordan Coons with you. We're back. And looking for a change here in the second. The Grizzlies give it up right away. Pellick to the front of the net, a back hitter, they score! And Jake Horton is able to collect on the turnover forced by Michael Pellick. The goal comes 11 seconds into period two. Can't ask for a better start than that one. Whatever Coach Kerr said at the uh, intermission was the right thing because they came out and put it in the back of the net quickly. The initial call was no, the light went on. Oh. It went off that post, and then that great chance across ice. Pellick had his hands up the red line. Let's take a look. Here we go. Centering pass on the backhand. Oh, so they were looking at the second chance if the glove completely crossed the goal line or not. Ooh, 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 ooh. So there's got to be definitive evidence is how that works. And Quatz gets it to the line, not out. Helped by Manfredo, makes a move by one, make it two. Backhand pass across, they score! What a play by Mike Manfredo as he sets up Carl Elmir on the back post 
and this is a game again all of a sudden. 10-11 to play in the second period. It's a one goal game here tonight. Elmir's seventh of the season. And this one just got a little bit more interesting here in the upstate. You have got to like the sense of urgency and the hustle. Molino is there in the slot and Toit covered it up. Meanwhile, it's Perkovich in the way for Greenville. Sets it up in the slot. Backdoor pass in front. What a stop there by Willett as he stops Lincoln Griffin. <laughs> with Matt Caldwell, Jordan Coons with you. The Swamp Rabbits trailed 4 0, and they've scored the tie in. You've got to be kidding me. Cameron Nall, the backhander, wheeling from the near side circle. Out of the break, onto the score sheet. Nall's 10th, and somehow this game is even. You've got to be absolutely freaking kidding me. It is like the tell of two teams. They have come out. Whatever they did during the intermission, do the same thing because they have come out with a mission. These Marvel fans, these patrons of the Rabbits are getting their money's worth today. This is a great game, and you saw a second period how it can turn on a dime. But we got 17 seconds to finish out this uh, penalty kill here, and then I hope we can, we can get after it again. Here we go. Swamp Rabbits left to right here in the third. Right to left go the Grizzlies. Down the middle he comes, stick handles, and leads it on to Cameron Nald. He cuts right out in front, he's poke check. There by Willette. Nald, up the right wing side, gains entry for the Swamp Rabbits and gets obliterated by Anderson. Off to the outside, it is Tetto at the left point, shoots one, tip score. Maxwell out in front of the goal, just got a piece of that float shot from the left point, and Utah in front with 2.23 left in the third period. The old tip drill, that's exactly what we saw. You called that at the beginning of the game. Had his, uh, had his stick down. It was probably maybe five or 10 inches off the ice. Easy pickings for the Grizzlies to clear out. And Monfredo gives it up to Lewis with an empty net. Good night. Time ticking down. We've got eight seconds to go. Still, uh, Toyota's back in net, so it's not yep. going to be an empty net. And that'll do it. This one's over. The Grizzlies come off the bench to congratulate Martin Willett. It is a less than perfect win for the Grizzlies, though they withstand a Swamp Rabbits rally. And Utah defeats Greenville 6-4, your final score here at the well.